What's up, guys? Welcome to Game Sense. I'm Psycho, new head coach of Sentinels Valorant. I'm joined here by Kaplan, strategic coach. Uh, in the past, we've looked at Sentinels games, but we're in the off season now. So while we're working on getting the new squad up and running, we want to make some videos to help you and your friends succeed in ranked. So Psycho and I's previous teams, Xset and Ghost, both ran a Neon KO Pearl comp, and today we're going to show you a B execute you can run with those two agents in ranked. Uh, you can do this with your duo partner. It's a very simple execute, and we'll also introduce a higher level concept that shows up in pro play, known as conditioning. So let's get into it. This is a B-Site execute that you and your duo partner will run. One of you will be on Neon, one of you will be on KO. You'll want to run this on a gun round when you guys both have guns in full utility. So the full KO utility is that you can throw a set molly that gets the uh, back hauls defender elbow, and then you can throw a knife that will suppress anybody near behind screens or playing back hauls. As your KO is throwing his molly lineup, you'll want to throw up your Neon wall and stun to the left behind screens. This will protect you and the rest of your teammates from any players tucked into that left side as you go to slide in and scale up into the site. And then you can throw a pop flash with perfect timing with your Neon as she slides in around the corner, forcing anyone who's holding an angle to be blind and get that kill. The key to this play is to time your Neon slide really well with the KO flash. Really dig deep, embrace your inner Zekin slide into back halls and take that fight. The great thing about this play is it's something that you can scale up and down based on how many players you have, how many willing teammates you have in ranked who are willing to, to listen to the utility that you're requesting from them. You know, this is something that we ran even uh, as a professional team. So let's take a look at our champions run where we ran this play versus Fun Plus Phoenix in group stage. Ready to fight three at a minimum. That tells you, okay, they got three there. So in this play, we did some A main, A lobby control to draw some rotations over towards A while Cryo held B long over here and starts to creep up and take some space, make sure that Chamber's not waiting for some picks. And now the rest of the team is working over towards B long to set up for this execute. This round, and we actually started with Viper over on this side of the map. But again, they shift towards this super passive retake of B if they need to do it in the late round. And it seems like X set of... Got a hint of that. Second creeps up. We check we check that close left angle. The KO gets up into position. Zach gets ready to go. The knife is thrown. Wall comes out. Zach goes to slide in. He gets a little sprayed through the smoke, which slows him down, but the flash still comes through with the molly. Zach swings, gets the kill, and now we have back hauls control. We finish clearing the rest of site. And now the bomb starts to go down. Exit picking up the kills and the site. And with this. It looks like they have finally found that weakness. All right, now we just checked out that execute from X set. You can see a lot of different utility coming out, right? We're using that KO Molly and knife, the neon stuns, the wall, the flashes, and we're even adding fade utility, her full kit, as well as some Astro stars. You might be thinking, isn't that a lot of utility to use in an execute? Something you can look out for in pro play is conditioning. So pro players are always trying to adapt to what the other team is doing. By using an execute and so much utility, you're forcing defenders to feel like they can't play certain spots on the site, and they're going to adapt by no longer playing those areas. You've now conditioned them not to play those spots, and in later rounds in a pro play, you might see teams start to use less utility in execute, and therefore they have more utility in the post plant to stop a retake. And with this, it looks like they have finally found that weakness. Thanks for joining us on Game Sense today, guys. I hope the tips and tricks you learned today will help you in your rank grind so you don't have to dodge Pearl next time it comes up. Peace out. Thank you for watching, and until next time.